Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic and we are here at Willow Lake, the Weeping Willow Fisheries and we are going to jump in Willow Lake like we did last time only the difference is we're going to be going after the Wells catfish this time not the large carp. Now I did find out some information about that colossal carp mission. Apparently you have to be a level 52 as you can see I am a level 51 and I'm only about a little over a quarter away there so hopefully we can get enough XP here at uh, Weeping Willow Fisheries to pull us over the level to open that mission and there's also another mission that's come available for another one but I think it's with the Maku Maku Lake so I'm not sure which monster that's called or what it's called but maybe if we get the DLC somewhere down the line we will be able to get access to that I don't know if the DLC will actually make it available or not anyway we are gonna go ahead and jump in here now Willow Lake is probably so far the best place I have seen out of all the lakes for not only the large carp but also the large wells catfish now when you come in here let me show you on the map here because I'm already where I need to be now you're gonna start somewhere up here that's you can see the marker and you've got to basically walk up the road all the way down to here I think I did that in the last episode but we've got to come down a little bit farther to this end of the lake and I've got a marker out there. I believe I just have it marked. I don't know if I've actually caught a fish there or not. Let me see. Yeah, I did catch a trophy ghost carp, but there are Wells catfish in there as well. That same spot is a good location for them. Now to get them, we're going to need to upsize some of our hooks, which I already did. I've got this as an 8 aught. I'm also using frogs. They love frogs. Uh, they also love the, the duck muscle meat. And if I'm not mistaken, I got a 6 aught. You want anywhere between a 6 aught or above to catch these guys. This is another popular one with the Wells catfish. This is the mole cricket larva. And I'm also going to be fishing for carp while I'm here. Now the carp rods, I've been able to catch bream with it, but I haven't been able to catch anything other than that just yet because it has to do with the type of ground bait you use and there is a ground bait for the well large catfish unfortunately I'm not to a level where I can purchase it yet so once I am to that level I am going to purchase it and give it a try and we'll do a, an episode on that one but let's go ahead and get in here let's see what we can do about catching us some catfish now it is a little bit early in the day and the peak period seems to be coming to an end so what we were going to do is fast forward time I think I'm going to take it to about 6 p.m. see if that doesn't work let's take a look at that okay so if we go to 5 p.m. 6 p.m. actually 5 p.m. might be good because we're just going into the peak and if we don't get anything then the night is usually really good as well. So let's go ahead and forward time. And we'll go ahead and get our rod pot out here and get this set up. Let's try to get this in order. I'm going to use the frog. I'm going to try to put a line across here and keep it in that hole. Now I was getting bites even on the non-peak tines, but seemed to get a little bit more during the peaks. Catfish don't really care so much about peaks, but even in real life. Peaks are kind of more of a guide. It isn't something that's put in concrete. <laughs> Now 
Now I have tiger nut sinking boilies at one inch on a six odd hook. That should get some big carp after that. Let's take that down a little bit just in case. And I believe I've got something on my float rod. I got shiners. Let's see, that's not gonna do. As we are gonna go all the way down to the bottom here. And there's all kinds of good choices we have for these Wells catfish that we can use. I think I'm trying to decide which I should go with. I swear I get a lot of bites off this mole cricket larva. So I think I'm gonna try that with the flow rod. getting some activity out there. Now that's 107 inches. It's like 10, no, about nine feet, approximately, almost nine feet. Right, we are getting a bite off the carp one. Hmm. Interesting. Now we're getting something off the other one. I think we got us a mirror carp off of that. Let's see what's going on in this one. This is duck muscle meat, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, we got us a catfish. I'm thinking maybe a regular size one. No, trophy. That's not bad. Yeah, we really want a, a unique one if we can get one. I have not caught one on this particular fishery. But we can take a look at this specimen here. Not a bad one. 26 pounds. It's not, not really anything to sneeze at, honestly. Now, where do we get him? We've got... Where do we get him at? Oh, shoot. I need more. I think I'm going to get some more too. Might as well. Seems like I go through these pretty darn fast. So let's put a marker for the last fish. And he was right there. Right next to the ghost carp one. And when you get them, that's a good idea if you want to mark them. Especially these kind. These are really good for grinding. The carp and the Wells catfish are awesome for grinding. Getting the XP that we need. Seems kind of interesting that we got them off the duck muscle meat first. Which means I might try this... with the duck muscle instead. So far I've got no reaction off of the cricket larva or the large minnows, but let's try the duck muscle. If this was sturgeon, they'd be hitting it like really hard. Yeah, see what I mean? It's the same, the same rod again.
It could be a number of factors involved. I mean, it could be a matter of the time of day. It could be a matter of the weather. It is cloudy. I don't usually fish for them on cloudy days so much. Now, that was a different rod. All right. That gone carp rod again. <laughs> We are getting the carp, I tell you, there's... We have been getting bites, but nothing seems to want to stick with it. I think we got us a leather carp here. Yeah, that's a nice one. I've been getting lots of those little bitty, you know, nibble, 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 but then they quit. Well, we can go into the night and just see what happens. It's pretty close anyway. I'm going to try to do this kind of close. As long as it's in the hole. Usually they really go for frogs. I don't know what the deal is. This time around, I'll be damned. They seem to be going for this duck muscle meat really well. I, yet again, this float rod seems to be getting some serious action. There he goes. Whoa. Okay, this is a big fit. This one's big. Okay. He put some force on it that time. Come on, we might have our unique here, guys. We're a really large trophy, but I think this might be unique. This is a big rod. I mean, I've pulled bull sharks in with this, so... I think we got him. No, it's a trophy, but man, he is much bigger than the last one was. 2770, 563 XP. Let's take a look, see how much bigger this guy is. Oh yeah. Yeah, I must have had one that was much smaller on the trophy scale. That's a nice fish. He is just shy of the unique, I think, honestly. Well, where did I get him? So I'm marking it. Yep, still in the same general vicinity. So, ne right next to the trophy ghost carp. Hmm. All right. I was almost ready to lose that. He almost broke the line. Definitely a big fish there, guys. We got something here. On oh, number three. Whoa. Nope, he's still there. I thought I lost him there for a minute. <clears throat> Just a young one. We have another one on this one, and it seems to be quite sizable. Oh yeah, this is... This is a sizable fish. Okay, let's put a little more pressure on him. 
Man, wouldn't it be cool if this is actually a catfish? I don't think so, though. It looks like a carp. But a very big one. Very big one. Let's see. Yep, this is a common carp. But it's a personal record. 31 pounds. So I have not caught a unique here. I thought I caught a unique common carp here. Well, I guess that's another go. That's a decent sized common carp though. Let me take a look at him. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. We'll take him. Yeah, it seems like these cloudy days are kind of touch and go for the most part. This one at first looked like it was going to be something really big, but didn't turn out that way. So we still have the unique to catch, guys. Unique Wells Catfish. Yep, we got another interested party. Looks like thought we might have two there for a minute. Another common carp, and I'm out of the boilies. Let's see if we got something else to replace that. What do we got here, guys? We've got sinking pellets. We need something of a decent size. Well, we could try the citrus ones. Got 0.8 on those. Yeah, we've got the tiger nuts, but they're all smaller. We could try these sunflower oil cakes. Let's give that a shot. Okay, I think. Yep, he's got it. There's another Wells. Something on the carp rod now. And he quit. Nope, he didn't quit. He must have swam right towards me. Oh, good gosh. Okay, this is this is a big fish. Yep, he's still, and I think it's a leather carp. Oh, yeah. New trophy leather carp personal record. He looks huge. I mean, he looks like a unique. 34 pounds. I would swear that was a unique. I can't even imagine how big a unique must be. Holy crap. Very nice fish. Sunflower oil cake sinking pellets, huh? Okay, I'm going to mark that one too. That's just a mark. That marker is just to get the edge of the hole. Caught him right there. 
the very front. Oh boy. I think I want this one more than I want the carp, though. Yep. Well, I don't think he's as big as I thought he was. I think we got us a young Wells. Yep. Well, maybe I did want this one. <laughs> Jeez. He is still taking it. Sunflower oil cakes. I've not tried those before. I thought I'd give them a shot, but they seem to be doing really well. Of course, they're high in fat, so that's something they would want. Sunflower oil cake sinking pellets. Oh, this guy's big. I mean, like, really big. Crap. Damn. Yeah, I don't think I dare take the tension up any more than I've got it. We're just going to have to get him in little bits at a time. Nope, he keeps running with it. Jeez. He has taken it out three times. It's like once I get him in close to 90 feet, he has to take it out past that. Okay, here we go. We might have him now. It's a leather carp, or mirror carp. I think it's leather, though. He has got to be unique. That's all I can say. He has to be. As much as of a fight he's given me. Holy crap. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> 3,177 XP just from this one fish. 58.719 pounds, 43.031 inches. Now, I was fishing for the catfish, but I will always take something this size, believe me. That is a monster. Let's see what he looks like. Whoa! <laughs> that, that's a fish. That is a monster. A carp can get pretty big. I've seen them, some really big ones up close. Oh yeah, definitely getting a picture of him. The sunflower oil cake sinking pellets, that's what I got him on. And I think I'm going to go to the map and mark it. Now I had a mark for the trophy, but let's put one down for him. Okay, he was right there, and there's the trophy. They're all pretty close together. I mean, you got trophy wells, you got two trophy wells right there close. 
all in a line. <laughs> Any one of those locations seem to be good. Yeah, the night fishing is definitely the best, guys. For all of them. Well, looks like we got another one on the carp rod. Holy crap. <laughs> I tell you, this is... This bait is popular. We have got another big one. I couldn't tell you if this is as big as that last leather carp, but it's not a slouchy fish. That's for darn sure. Holy crap. He just keeps taking it out. Yeah, we are right at two, around 2 a.m. This may be the best point guys I that's all I know at least for the carp what is he doing <laughs> okay he's swimming towards me okay I'm getting a little bit of ground Okay, he knows he's caught. He's not giving it up yet. Jeez. Maybe this is going to be a different one. I'd like to see a unique comment if we can get one. That would complete all our... And we got one on the float rod too. <laughs> I hope you don't lose him. But this guy is not giving it up. I think it is a common. Yep, unique common carp. I caught one. 1625 XP. Not as much and not quite as big, but still massive fish. Ah, we lost the other one. Damn it. Well, that's two uniques. Now, we were after the wells. We still haven't got the unique one. He's not quite as big as that leather carp, though. Now, the Uniques do have a range, so they can come a lot bigger than this. Let me get a picture of him, too. It's two Uniques in one fishing session. In just under an hour of the end game time. It's not bad at all. And that was both off the sunflower oil cakes. I've not, like I said, I've not tried them before. And I think I'm going to be using them <laughs> a lot. So, in the other games, it's the tiger nuts that seem to be popular. But I don't even think sunflower ones were even available. Let's see. Tension down off of that. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and call this an, ep an episode here, guys. But before we go any further, I think I want to check to see where my XP is. Uh, I didn't do too bad. I'm about a third of the way there now. Still got a ways. I really 
really need to maybe take a mission on or something. If I could get more of these uniques, that would also help. I'm not sure what I could do to get enough. Let's see. I haven't completed that one. And that would give me almost 10,000 XP plus whatever the XP of the fish is. And then the Kanik Creek, yeah. Might want to go ahead and take on these missions, guys. Well, let me go ahead and continue doing what I'm doing. And get enough to pay for this trip. And maybe have a little bit of change to go with it. Looks like we may have another one here, guys. Or maybe not. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. I think, like I said, we might be taking on the last of the two available monster fish missions. They might be enough XP to get me where I need to be. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.